Hey everybody, thanks for joining my vlog today. This is Brian Howard and I am in a series about how to grow in your faith, how to grow in your walk with God. And the, the practice that I wanted to tell you about today uh, is very repeatable by anyone and it's to read a psalm every day. So a psalm is spelled P-S-A-L-M and in the Bible, a psalm is basically a collection of written songs, written poetry that are intended to encourage or intended to uh, teach, that sort of thing. So it's a, it's a great source of in inspiration to many, many people. It's one of the most famous areas of the Bible. Uh, when you read through it, you'll probably find quotes uh, in culture that actually are a, a little snippet from psalm. Uh, because it's been so popular for you know forever really um, so that all you do is there's about 150 psalms all you do is you just read them in order so you know day number one when you start is you know psalm number one uh, day number two psalm number two etc so it's a real easy thing you know you can bookmark those or whatever um, if you use an ebook version of the bible like i do uh, you know your kindle will keep track of you know what page you're on so you can just do the next one the next day but uh, it's a real great way to have an organized discipline uh, of you know pursuing the Lord by reading a psalm every day so I really encourage the practice of that some people also read a proverb every day and that's great um, I don't um, I wish I did and I'm I'll, over the years I've tried and I like proverbs by the way it's a wonderful uh, just more of a time uh, and discipline thing on my part, but reading a proverb every day, uh, corresponding with your psalm, is 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 wonderful too. And you know you can experiment with that if you want. Um, one of the things that you'll notice in, or there's two things that you'll notice in having a psalm of the day. Number one is that over time you'll notice that your life, uh, is, you know, that you can that there's encouragement for your life that's very specific in the psalm that you're reading that kind of matches your circumstances. Of, of the day or, or, or your circumstances of the time that you're going through. And it, it's basically the Lord getting involved and guiding your steps like he says he will do um, and lining up, you know, the source of encouragement that you're feeding on, uh, you know, to make sure that your life has just the right message uh, to help you. Um, so that's really what I wanted to convey to you. Uh, the second thing is that you'll find you adopt uh, different psalms as your own. So more, you know, one of mine is Psalm 37. Uh, my family psalm is Psalm 91. Uh, there's something in that that speaks to each one of my family members, and, and they all know what that is. Um, psalm 68 is a family psalm for us. My wife has Psalm 71. Um, I have a part of Psalm 32 that speaks to me. So... You know, there's, that's one of the uh, benefits, too, is that over time, when you read these things, I've been doing this since 2000, so I've read them maybe, I don't know, I'm going to make this up. I might have read through the Psalms 50 times, you know, in, in, this, in this period of time. So for me, you know, you get very familiar with some of the content, and you start to really adopt different uh, Psalms as your, as your special own. So anyway, I recommend this as a great way of growing in the Lord and of having him speak to you and, and of you, you know, building yourself up. And with that, thanks for joining the vlog today and have a blessed day.